Okay, let's talk about brew ratio. So uh, a lot of times people brew uh, like a two to one. So uh, 20, 40 grams out for 20 grams in. That's a two to one. Uh, they often, people refer to it as a one to two. They say input than output. Um, but in ratios, I, I like to have the bigger number on the, the left side of the colon. So I prefer a one to one. I want it very strong, very intense, but I also want it fully extractive if possible. And that is really the challenge. So if you look at this as a control chart where you have extraction yield on the, the X axis and TDS on the, the Y axis. And so, the, you know, you, you're, the aim is for 18 to 22% extraction yield. And to hit that for Ristretto is kind of hard. You can do that with a darker roast, but again, you, you have some taste issues with darker roasts. So most of my work has been trying to get uh, medium roast to uh, be in this, uh, in or above the ristretto range in terms of um, TDS and extraction yield. So in this test, I looked at a couple of different ratios um, and they're a little higher than what I would prefer. Uh, but I encourage everybody to try out different ratios because you might find that you prefer a stronger coffee or maybe you don't. Uh, maybe you prefer a longer coffee. Maybe you prefer a three to one or a five to one. Um, and then the other interesting thing is you can try out brewing a shorter shot of espresso and adding more water to it. You know, uh, you can add some hot, a little bit of hot water uh, because that changes the flavor as well. Because a longer shot is also extracting more stuff from the coffee. So it changes the taste as, as you brew longer, as opposed to adding water. So I just, I looked at a, a couple of shots and um, the 1.1 1 .1 to 1 is, is what I would prefer. Uh, it's, it's mainly because the extraction, the TDS is higher. So the, the, in this case, the, the, the extraction yield is a little bit lower because I just pulled a shorter shot. Um, but I, I think by the time I get to a 1.5 to one ratio, I'm, I'm starting to over extract part of the coffee. So I, I don't think 23 or 24% is over extracted. Usually around like 25% to me has been tasted over extracted, but definitely some of the coffee is being over extracted by that point.